he was murdered by over there by the dumpsters. Gail Armstrong Jackson remembers what it was like to receive the call that her father had been killed. When they called me, I was thinking, well, he 84. He probably died of natural causes or he could have had a heart attack. Them was my thoughts. You know, I accepted that. But for somebody to just take my daddy's life away from us today, he took, they took him from his children, his grandchildren, his great children, great grandchildren. Jackson says her father didn't live in Caton Homes, but visited the area to collect cans and scrap metal. He was like a junk remover type of person. And he did this for well over 30 years. And he never um, bothered nobody. He didn't ask nobody for nothing. Without any arrests in her father's case, Jackson says she's frustrated with the lack of surveillance cameras in the area. And they need to put cameras up in these projects. That's what they really need to do. Because they got to be concerned about their, their tenants just as well as the people that's coming to visit in these communities. The Savannah Police Department, alongside the City of Savannah and the Housing Authority of Savannah, applied for nearly $500,000 through a state grant for violence reduction in November of 2022. In that application, Savannah Police identified Caton and Fraser Homes, public housing complexes that neighbor each other in Savannah's west side, as areas of critical need. Some of the funding would go toward four cameras for each complex. Alderman Bernetta Lanier represents District 1, which contains Caton Homes. The cameras will not only be a deterrent to criminal activities, but it will also be uh, serve on the prevention side. And that's what I'm most concerned about. According to the city of Savannah, they received the funding from this grant earlier this year, and they're still waiting for the cameras to arrive. We needed them here a long time ago. So as a, a policymaker and an alderman of the city, we continue to express to staff, the staff side, that this is uh, a necessary and a very desperate uh, measure that we need in place. And I have faith in uh, staff that they're doing what they need to do. WTOC investigates obtain the 2022 grant application, which contains violent crime data for some of Savannah's public housing complexes. According to information in the grant application and Savannah police data, Caton and Frazier Homes have had at least one homicide per year since 2020. This year has already matched 2023's numbers for the entire year, both with two non-fatal shootings and one homicide in the complexes. It's numbers Savannians like Gail Jackson hope to see decrease. My daddy didn't deserve this. He didn't have to die this way. He should have died of old age, not being murdered and left by a dumpster like he was a piece of trash because we, we loved our daddy.